St. Croix's own Kevin Shepard has now been recruited, and News Channel 8's Stephen Koo Francis has been talking to an extensive interview with him all week. Let's take a look at part one. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Stephen Koo Francis here at the Ronald Charles Gymnasium, where we are hanging out with my boy Kevin Shepard, the nicest thing, the people's choice, Tegan. Hey, Kevin, is it good to have you back here on Channel 8? Well, you know, Channel 8 is actually like my TV father. I mean, you have seen me from since high school until now my professional career. So anytime Channel 8 calls me, I'm always available. Oh, man. First of all, let, let's get into uh, letting folks know uh, what you what you what you've been doing this this past um, off this past season. Well, I've been really, really busy this off season. Um, you know, first of all, I got married, so that's good. Now I'm stepping into a new career. Congratulations! I appreciate it from Channel 8 and everybody else. And uh, I've just been working with the kids, working and getting ready, preparing for this upcoming season and. You know, I'm ready to go into this for another MVP season. And this off season, um, you you was in charge of uh, working with a summer camp, teaching a lot of kids um, some of the moves and uh, some of the skills you, you you have. Well, definitely, I try to uh, give back to the kids of St. Croix and the Virgin Islands the knowledge that you know I, I happen to learn playing here and overseas. You know, Coach Bow have been by my side for a long time, um, Dean Haywood and so many other guys who helped me to be where I am. So I have to go back and give back to these kids, give them opportunity to see what I've done overseas and show them that these moves does work. So it's a privilege doing what I do. Yeah, man. And folks, if you don't know, this is the voice of the man leagues, the mic man who give these guys all these crazy names and, and you keep the crowd hype, man. I've been to NBA games, but the NBA games ain't nothing compared to the MBBA. The way how you have the crowd, hey man, you got a crowd riled up, man. You know what's funny? We had a guy from Detroit. He came down from uh, Detroit, and he said he, his son is playing with the Portland Trail Blazers, and he's been to so many NBA games, so many games in the states, and he have never seen someone like myself call the game the way I did. Um, how I get all these names? How I remember all these names? I mean, just, just being a part of the atmosphere in the summer league. I mean, it's just a pleasure and a joy. I do it for the love of it. I don't do it for any cost. I lose my voice at will. And, um, I mean, I just love doing it. I just love it. Yeah, man. Folks, if you haven't been to an MBBA game, I hear Kevin Shepard call a game. You're missing out. Yeah. So you definitely have a um, you have a career after basketball, man. <laughs> well, everybody's telling me to... Um, I better go and run for Senate, but you know, uh, politics is never my forte. I don't really like too many politics because, you know, I like to be forefront with the kids. I mean, a lot of politicians love to say put kids first, and we have uh, after school programs and all these other junk that they tell us. I hope I can say that and lose it. But in reality, they're not doing anything for these kids. I mean, I know I, I work with kids every summer when I come home. I've listened to these kids. They are hungry for basketball, they are hungry for sports, and still. You know, the condition of our gyms here is really pathetic and, you know, the, the, the level of our, our talent is not being developed. So, you know, it's, it's really bad and really sad, but I'm not one to criticize anyone. I just want to go out there and do the best I can to help these kids to see their dreams. And if I have to come here every summer to give up my time to show them that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it too. That's what I will do.